welcome back to my channel i am just now leaving my class at babies rs and i wanted to talk to you guys about it for all the expecting mothers if you guys have a babies rs near you or a bye bye baby i'm pretty sure they offer these classes as well just a few helpful hints these classes are really really beneficial this is actually my first time attending one of the classes but i've always had their calendars and they always call you once you register and ask you if you want to attend the upcoming class that's coming. And I never went. So I just finally decided that I was going to take one of the classes. And the class that I took was Breastfeeding 101. Um, it was very informative, especially being a first time breastfeeder and not knowing what you're doing, what you're going to do. It became very beneficial. So... I guess it just depends on your instructor and how informed they are on breastfeeding. If you get somebody that is very personable and can relate everything or that wants to answer your questions and not just the basic questions that you can find on the internet, that they honestly give you good answers. It's really bright. That they honestly give you the answers that you're looking for. The lady that I had, her name is Carolyn out here in greensboro north carolina she was absolutely wonderful she's actually the manager of the store and she was telling us how she has a she has a she has two kids um one of her kids i think she said she breastfed for 17 months and the other one she's still breastfeeding she's on the 11th month now so she was telling us about her stories about how she had her breast had hardened up on her and she had a hard time and she thought that the best thing for her to do was to pump more and she was telling us you know like problems you can run into the latching problems um, pumping problems the flow problems it was very very informative she was willing to ask any questions that we had um, she gave us a lot of information the thing that I liked the most was that she related everything basically to her kids and what she does and she came with pictures like she related her friend's experience her own experience she had pictures of everything that she was telling us like her friend literally pumped like in this picture it looked like she put them she was so organized her friend i don't know if her friend's ocd but anyways she was so organized like she had um boxes milk boxes that she had cut and put the bags in so you could see how many bags she had it was literally like what i feel like would be i'm gonna compare it to oodles and noodles because of how thin the packs is so if you had like a hundred packs of oodles and noodles i swear this looks like how much that lady was pumping through her breast for her kids milk and that's how much she said her friend just pumps on the regular versus she whatever she pumps her kids uses in that day so it's kind of hard for her to stock up and freeze her milk but she was explaining to us like milk that's refrigerated last three days milk that um you freeze lasts six months i mean like every information that you didn't know things that the internet does not teach you she really gave it to us like the different types of poop that will come out to let you know the signs of your baby if your baby is getting enough milk the um she even talked to us about introducing formula in case your baby's not gaining enough weight or if you can't pump enough and you have to go back to work or you're going on a trip or the baby has to go to someone else's house like she informed us of all of this and i absolutely love the class i've seen a lot of videos where people get up here and they say that the class was not that informative for them they thought it was a waste of time I think that's just for people that you know just feel like they already know everything from reading the internet and that really don't have an open mind to actually listen but i absolutely enjoyed the class when we first got there she was nice she gave us bottled water this is actually the water that they gave us um and then they gave us these registry bags which this is the same bag if you do the registry and you go into the store but um, inside of the bags that she gave us, you receive, it's basically things that we've already seen before, especially in um, the registry bags. But inside of the bag, you receive this Advent pump, this seventh generation diaper sample, this Mustela skin sample, 
And of course, you know, all of those come with coupons. Um, they also gave us a package which had the stretch marks cream with the coupon for that. And then she gave us this magnet that a lot of people really don't know about, which I thought this was good and informative because it informs you that your insurance company, especially if you have insurance through a job that you pay for the premiums and it's not like Medicaid or anything, they actually cover your pump, which a lot of people don't know that. So I actually have already received mine. If you've seen my other video, I've already received my insurance pump, but some of the women did not know that. But she also informed me of something I did not know. You can also, along with the electric one that you get, when you give birth in the hospital, request for them to give you a manual pump so that you can use it like if you're out and you're traveling, you also pay for that. So go ahead and request it since you're paying for it anyway and they have to give it to you in the hospital. So don't forget to ask for that. I thought that was a very good vital piece of information that I did not know about. And then she gave us this sample of lactation cookies to try, which basically is to boost your breast milk supply. I chose the lemon flavor. The other ones was oatmeal chocolate and oatmeal raisin, I'm not an oatmeal fan. But um, the lemon cookie is the one that I chose. I'll taste it and let you guys know what I think about it, not now. But basically, she was in, she showed us a lot of things that we could do to help boost our milk supply versus you got smoothies, you got cookies, you have supplements. Um, there are a lot of drops and things that you can take that she was telling us about. So it was very informative. I also, excuse me for bending down, you guys, I was trying to get my wallet. I also picked up the calendar for the rest of the events that they have coming up in May. Um, the next one that they have coming up is Thursday, um, four days, three days from now, and is what is a doula? I don't know if I'm going to attend that one. I want to, but I don't know if I'm going to attend that one. But um, I'm also going to come out and do the car seat and stroller class and the hospital bag essentials. The hospital bag essentials is on May the 30th, which is close to my due date. So that is going to be very beneficial to me. Each of these classes only lasts an hour and it's free. Um, it says that um, when you register that they have 40 slots available. In the class that I took, it was only four girls that showed up um everybody was basically a first time mom except for me um but you know this is my first time breastfeeding so again that's why i took the class i didn't breastfeed with my daughter and she's now eight so basically i am basically starting over so you might as well say i'm a first time mom again but um in that in that with the four of us it basically when you sign up for these classes and not a lot of people show up then it basically just increases your chances to win the little raffles that they have and they were give excuse me they were giving away some really really good prizes um she gave away a nursing bra that adjusts with you as you lose or gain weight um, throughout your breastfeeding experience, which I thought that was pretty cool. It has the adjustable clamps in the back. Um, you can decrease it, increase it according to whatever size you need. It had the holes here where you put the pump in, so you're basically hands-free. You can do whatever you need to do while you're pumping. She said, you know, she checks social media, checks on her phone, checks see what's going on in the world, so that way she's still pumping, and it's just hooked to the bra, and she, her hands are still free. Um, let's see she gave away a nursing scarf um it was a pretty nice brand too it was just a really nice design i think it was a chef Ron design if i'm not mistaken it was um black and white chef Ron design and it was really cute um what else did she give away oh one thing that i had never ever seen that she gave away it was for she said it's kind of new on the market for mothers that like to or that have been waiting to have their drink or their glass of wine um, now that they delivered and they're scared after going out on the night on the town um, about whether or not they have too much alcohol in their breast milk. She gave away these um, breast milk test strips. Basically, you pump your milk and you put the test strip in there and it tells you the alcohol content and whether or not it's safe to give that milk to your baby. I thought that was pretty cool, but at the same time, I'm like, you're still going to allow a little bit of alcohol in the baby system? So, I was kind of thrown off by it. She gave the girl that wanted the option of 
you know, choosing something else if she didn't drink or whatever. So she ended up getting a nursing scarf because she didn't want that. I guess she doesn't drink. Or she was probably thinking the same thing I was thinking. But I think it is pretty cool because some women cannot wait to have a drink. Some women drink um, wine on the regular, especially with dinners, and they've been waiting for so long. So I think it's pretty cool for those ladies that just have a night out on the town. They finally get a chance to relax after these long months uh, being restrained so you know I thought that was pretty cool so that way they're not feeling too guilty for whatever you know reasons and then I won the big prize which I was very very happy very happy it is a breast pump bag and this is a bag that I won right here how cute is it I'm not going to show too much of it right now because I'm actually going to do a review on it and try to put my pump in it, see how my pump actually fits in it, see how it works out, all the parts and the compartments and how everything's going to fit in it as far as traveling. So I'm going to do a long review on the bag, but I will tell you the brand of the bag. It is Banana Fish and the bag, it is, if it's a $50 bag, I'll tell you that, it's a $50 bag. Um, it has... 12 pockets to it very nice design very cool and it tells you you know where everything fits so i'm gonna go home put my pump and stuff in it play with it a little bit then i'll do a review on it but that's what i won um everybody had these little raffle tickets here and she had someone else come up and pull your number from the store and it was just basically four prizes she gave away for the four women that showed up and that was it but while i was in there I did pick up two items that I needed. Um, I purchased the, what is it called? The first, I guess you call it the first aid or the health kit for the baby. You know the one that comes with the clippers, the nasal aspirator, the thermometer and stuff. And I didn't realize that mine didn't have a hairbrush in it for the baby. So I wanted to purchase a hairbrush while I was in there. And I found this one. It's green, it's soft, the bristles on it, it feels really good and smooth. I picked green because of course my car seat and stroller and my diaper bag are the same color so I just picked green to go with it because it'll be mostly in the diaper bag anyway so I thought this was really cute this is only like a dollar forty at Baby's RS um, I think like at Walmart they had it in a set with the comb for $3.99 and then they had one with the set with the comb and the brush and a nail file I think for like $4.99 so I picked this up it was just a dollar forty nine nice nice little quick thing and also I've been needing to pick up um, a big size hand sanitizer to put in the baby's diaper bag for when we're out and like when we go to the hospital and people are coming in the room or when we're out and you know we're touching stuff and I have to pick up the baby I've been wanting to pick it pick up a hand sanitizer that I can keep in there so I picked up this one the baby Ganix I hope you can see it I'm still driving so it's kind of blurry but the baby Ganix one this is just to go into the diaper bag it was $4.99 and it is an alcohol free foaming hand sanitizer and it's fragrance free so of course they recommend this and the um other brands like seventh generation and honest company something basically that you can ensure is basically natural and sensitive enough for the baby so i picked up that that'll go into my diaper bag and pretty soon i'll do my what's in my diaper bag video but i needed that for the hospital you know how people like to come into the room and just automatically go touch the baby you don't know what they're coming from they've been in the elevator touching buttons they you never know what they did before they walked into the room they could have scratched their butt i'm just saying you never know so you always got to make sure you know i want everybody to know it's pump pump rub touch don't just come straight and touch the baby so yeah but anyways that was all the information that i have here if I decide to go to the doula class, I might record that one. I did not ask them if it was okay for me to record because it was my first class and I did not know how it was gonna go. I didn't even know if I was gonna sit through the whole thing, to be honest with you guys. Cause I was like, if this is boring, I'm gonna be like, I gotta go to work. Or I'm gonna be like, I'm hurting, you know, something. I was gonna get out of that class. I'm gonna just be honest with y'all. But I will try to record that one now. 
one of the classes that I am going to record just because I feel like everybody should be able to have these tips is the car seat safety class where they have the firefighters come out and check your car and make sure your car seat is installed properly before you start using it for the baby I think that is the most most important class that any new mom can take because we read these directions and we think um or our husbands or boyfriends or baby fathers or our friends or partners we all think that we really really absolutely know okay i read the book i read the car manual it says it's installed but there can always be that one little thing that we missed and it'd be so important that it helps protect the baby's health and i think that everybody should do that and i i think your local fire department will actually let you come out to the fire department and they check your car seat without you having to take these classes if i'm not mistaken i think they offer that at some point in time i think you can call them and they will go ahead and check your car seat for you because they want to ensure as much safety for your child as possible which i think that is the absolute best thing and i think that is the one thing that new moms should absolutely schedule for themselves to do before worrying about anything else before they worry about whether or not they have tint on their windows before they wear the weather whether or not they have the cute little baby on board signs or the visor mirrors before you do any of that the most important thing for you to do is contact your local fire department and make sure that you have your car seat installed properly for the safety of your baby especially a newborn baby because the worst thing for you to do is be coming home from the hospital and think everything is safe and somebody just hits you and that car seat rocks over and something happens so please all moms take the time to just do that one little thing for your child if you can't do anything else everybody passes by a fire station every day so there is absolutely no excuse for that you pass by a fire station every day there's a fire station on almost every corner so do what you have to do to make sure that your child is safe i will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching stay tuned to my channel for more videos coming out this week i hope to have my diaper bag video up and my car seat and stroller video of reviewing that for you guys and my review of this breast pump bag so thank you guys for watching have a good day bye